In this video, we are going to continue on with media queries, and we're going to add multiple media queries in this video. And basically what we're going to do is add another media query to handle when the screen or a device of 400 pixels or smaller is used for our web page. And what we're going to do is just change the color of this box to dark green. So let's go ahead and switch back to our CSS code. Now, as I said, you can add multiple media queries for as many different resolution types as you want. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this because we're going to make a new media query. And we'll just go right down here. And we're going to make this for 400 pixels. That should handle some smaller resolutions that encompass mobile phones. So 400 pixels. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just get rid of this rule here. We don't need that anymore because we already floated the item up here and got rid of the sidebar. These rules will remain in effect because we're still smaller than 600 pixels. But when we get smaller than 400 pixels, we wanna go ahead and change this box over here. Here it is, we used an ID of box. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So we're just gonna specify pound box. There we go. And then we're just gonna change the background color, as I said. So we need the background color property and we're gonna set this to dark green. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. So we'll refresh our page and let's go ahead and start minimizing our browser. So there you can see we hit the 600 pixel mark and of course our sidebar is eliminated and our logo has been moved left. Let's go further. And there you can see, take a look. Once we hit the 400 pixel resolution, the box now changes to dark green. Now the key point here is anything in this smallest resolution type right here, this 400 pixels resolution, any properties that we put in here will override anything we put in here. And to hammer home this point, let's go ahead and just copy and paste this into our 600 pixel resolution up here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and specify dark red. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now I want you to notice it shouldn't change, right? This will not change because we are under 400 pixels, so this background color will take effect. So that's what happens if you're using the same property in multiple media queries. So let's go ahead and refresh this and this should stay the same. And it did. Now, watch what happens when we move a little bit farther out. Yep, see now the red will take into effect because we hit the 600 pixel mark. And if we go even farther out, yep, it'll default back to its original color, which of course is dark gray. So that's basically how the overrides work with CSS media queries. Now, we have used the max width property. Now, basically you wanna use this when you're designing from the top down. That is, you're designing from the desktop view and you're moving down into smaller resolutions all the way down to the mobile phone. Now, there is another property called the minimum width. Now, we're not gonna use that here, but you can go ahead and play around with this. It's the same concept. You're just going in a different direction. You're actually moving up now. Basically, when you use the minimum width property, you're actually doing the opposite here. You want to design from the mobile phone resolutions and work your way up all the way to the desktop. So that's why you would use the minimum width property. Other than that, everything is the same. It's just the opposite of the max width. So that is how media queries works. We're going to also continue on with media queries in the next video. And we're actually going to create an entire new style sheet using media queries. And we will talk about that again in the next video. See you guys then.